we take a look at some of the most extreme and incredible personal aircraft. One of the earlier extreme models is a weight shifting, wing warping jet. Mr. Achia initially began with scale models, and eventually this led to a craft which utilizes a smaller jet engine with 176 pounds of force. And to this date he has made over 150 jumps and 70 circling flights. He has claimed that he can fly much higher than the 500 foot limitation set by authorities. But as of right now he's not planning to sell the model and he only has a few variants out there. The next aircraft is something which I mentioned before and it's a little bit controversial. An amazing video showcased a two prop backpack helicopter with a self leveling autopilot. The craft is definitely real, but the initial vehicle was tethered in a promo video, as pointed out by other YouTubers. So in this promo video, the craft was actually tethered the whole time, but the company did come out and admit that this is a prototype and that they did edit the video. Ultimately, there are a lot of questions on how developed the copter pack is, but theoretically it does work, and the company is expected to come up with more updates in the very near future. Moving on, we get to the Omni Hoverboard. Alexander Duru first flew his electric multi-rotor craft back in 2015, and now he's pretty much flying it everywhere. Powered by 8 motors, it's probably one of the simplest contraptions out there. The original variant has no flight controller, gyros, or accelerometers for that matter, and it's purely flown through skill. However, a commercial variant is in the works, which will likely be a little bit more redundant. As of right now, he's facing a case for failing to request a takeoff authorization near an airport, but that probably won't be stopping him anytime soon. We get to number 4 and it's the Black Fly. One of the more extreme designs is also one of the safest electric vehicles on this list. With over 4,000 logged flights, the craft has multiple safety features including an isolated distributed battery system, Tripler modular redundant controls, and even a ballistic parachute. The single seater has a return to home function with geofencing capability, making it to be highly automated as well. With a theoretical top speed of 80 miles per hour, it could very well be included in electric VTOL racing in the future. At number 3, the MK3. Richard Browning has come up with this extreme idea of attaching rockets to limbs. With a cost of around $400,000, this suit has two mini jet engines on each arm and a larger one on the backpack. The suit roughly creates 1,000 horsepower for approximately 7 minutes. But unlike many of the extreme vehicles on this list, anyone could test the contraption out for around 2 grand at the company's flight testing facility. Training can eventually lead to being a part of the jet suit pilot community in an upcoming international race series. Another notable jetpack is the JB11. It's probably one of the higher performing models on the market with a 120 mile per hour speed and a flight time of around 10 minutes. Naturally, an undisclosed military consumer has purchased two classified JB-12 variants for a total amount of $800,000. Jetpacks are still very limited to flight time, so it will likely take a new type of power source or some type of revolutionary battery to make these things next gen. And in turn, we will probably not see this commercialized on the market anytime soon. At number 2, the Ziva. Reminiscent of the iconic flying flapjack, the Ziva is a one-person electric VTOL flying saucer which is capable of 160 mile per hour speeds. The craft is optimized for vertical takeoff and landing so it can go into really tight areas. The early versions will use a standard set of drone style controls that combine stick controllers with the automation inputs derived from sensors and cameras. The company already has a full scale prototype running on tethers. But once again, like many projects out there, this one is crowdfunded, so it's quite a ways away from being on the market. Finally, we get to the Jetson 1. A startup company has come up with a new electric VTOL racer, which requires no pilot license in the United States. Considered to be an experimental aircraft, it will have your typical performance specifications with a 60 mile per hour speed for around 20 minutes. Safety features include a parachute, LiDAR sensors with the obstacle avoidance, and this will likely improve in newer versions in the future. This in turn will also allow the craft to perform maneuvers such as emergency landing. Now this type of flyer is being pursued by multiple companies. The MK4 Airspeeder is also an impressive craft being designed to incorporate augmented reality, which provides telemetry data and possibly digital racing tracks in the future. Another notable future will include a V2V or I communication, which creates an online control system 
and this in turn analyzes each vehicle's position and trajectory. We are starting to see this technology emerge in automated vehicles, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this translates into aerial racing. But anyways, I would like to know what you think about all these developments. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.